Uh, hello everyone and uh, welcome. Uh, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a stored procedure inside SQL Server and how to call it from inside C++ Builder application. So it is a very uh, simple topic and I hope you will be interested. Uh, so let's say I have a test database here and it contains one table and let's see what it has. Uh, it has uh, seven records so these are pretty much uh, some student names and uh, a name, surname, surname and age. So I have some data here and uh, what I can, I can create a stored procedure. A stored procedure is nothing but a stored SQL code that is executed on a server side and uh, pretty much is, uh, it is executed very fast and that is one of the main benefits of a stored procedure. So I'm going to create a stored procedure, right click new stored procedure and once I've done that, uh, you get this uh, here, and it may look pretty confusing, especially if you see this and this, uh, not knowing what does it mean. But uh, what I can do is uh, pretty much, it says here, Control, Shift, and M to fill in the parameter values. So I'm going to press that. Uh, author name, nothing, procedure name. Uh, let's say I'll call it my select. Okay, so that is going to be the name of my stored procedure. Parameter, uh, well, I don't need any parameters for the moment. So I'm simply going to delete all this. Okay. And now uh, this is what I get, but I'm going to remove this. And it says here, create procedure, uh, my select as. And now uh, between begin and end, is the code that is going to be executed uh, when calling a stored procedure. So what I'm going to say, I'm going to say select all from uh, students, student. Okay, so my st stored procedure is pretty much going to do this. Uh, execute. Okay. Create procedure. Uh, and here it is, uh, my select. It created a stored procedure that is called my select. How to test if it's working? Uh, okay, so I'm going to say right click here on my test DB, new query. I can simply say execute uh, my select. So I'm co calling a stored procedure here. And as you can see, when calling a stored procedure, I've got uh, all records from inside a student table. Why? Because uh, this is what my stored procedure uh, is supposed to do anyway, right? So uh, I have now this stored procedure that is called my select and it pretty much shows me all records from inside student table. Now let's see uh, how to do it inside C++ Builder. So I need to uh, call that stored procedure. So I'm going to uh, use a dog connection object. Uh, it's going to be used to connect to my SQL server. So I need to define a connection string that points to my server. So I need to select a provider for SQL server. Um, this is my instance that I'm going to use uh, where my database is located. And here you can uh, always use a specific username and password or Windows NT integrated security, which I'm going to do right now because this is a local database server and I'm going to use test DB. Test connection, everything works just fine. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, say login prompt to false, I don't need it, and connect. So I have this object that now represents my connection to a SQL server. Now I need an object that will represent a stored procedure. So I have uh, ADO stored procedure here. So I'll put it here. Okay, so uh, this object represents stored procedure. So I need to say uh, where is the connection that is going to be used. And it's going to be used. Uh, this is the comp component for the connection. Okay. And uh, once this stored procedure is executed, I need to show the result somehow. And that's why I need to have a data source. So data source is going to uh, s uh, use these records to show them in some way. For example, I'm going to use dbgrid. OK, 
okay so this is the db grid and i'm going to say db grid uses data source one and data source one uses uh, a result of stored procedure so pretty much when I executing a stored procedure i will see the result in this grid okay so let's continue i have a stored procedure that is called my select so what i need to do now is click on this component and under procedure name i need to find my select so i'm going to press m okay here it is my select and uh, what i can do pretty much is to say active to true and voila i have all uh, records from inside the student table so i'm just going to set up a column here to like this so as you can see uh, when i execute uh, the stored procedure when i said active to true it pretty much uh, execute the stored procedure called my select and what it does it selects all records from a student and now i see uh, all that records here okay so that's uh, pretty easy right but uh, what if i want to say okay i don't want to have all uh, students here just students that are between for example uh, i don't know 20 and 22 age okay so between uh, those two values well in that case i need to have a stored procedure that has two parameters first parameter is going to save from and the second parameter is going to say to so from one age to another age okay so uh, i'm going to close this and i'm going to say right click modify and before this as part i'm going to say uh, from age as integer and I'm going to say uh, to age as integer okay so what I'm going to say in this statement here select all from student where uh, age so as you can see this is the column age from a table student so where age between first parameter is from age and to age so as you can see this is alter procedure pretty much it uh, changes the uh, code for the existing stored procedure and now i execute this and it's completed successfully so let's test it inside uh, this management studio as you can see uh, if I call uh, execute uh, uh, my select it says uh, it requires a parameter from age that is not supplied so I'm going to say from uh, 20 to 22 and as you can see I got only students that have age between 20 and 22 so I can also say from 18 to 21 for example okay here we go right uh, and now let's see how to uh, do that now inside C++ Builder so uh, I need to right click uh, parameters here and once I've clicked it it automatically recognizes that I have two parameters from age and to age so I can say for example from age to 18 and to age to 21 okay and what I need to say it is not active and active again and as you can see from 18 to 21 so i can say from 20 to 23 for example and now here we go okay it's pretty easy so how to do it in code well i can place a button here and i can say ado uh, stored stored procedure one first i'm going to close everything close the existing data set then I'm going to say uh, for example parameters parameter by name and the first parameter is from age value equals um, I don't know let's say 18 and I'm going to say to age twenty one. 
okay and then I'm going to say uh, ADO stored procedure open or active is true now let's see uh, how does it work so as you can see here I have everything from 20 to 23 but now when I click a button I have everything from 18 to 21 18 to 21 and that's how you call a stored procedure that has a parameter okay uh, I hope uh, that's enough for now and uh, it can be useful for you in your future projects thank you for watching and well see you later